Fang K2, can I just say first, congratulations on winning the Star Lecturer of the Month Award here at GBS. I remember um, coming into your classroom a few months back and the energy in your class was just amazing with a full class. Tell us, what does it feel like winning the Star Lecturer of the Month? Well, first of all, thank you very much and uh, for the honour done me. I know that I'm just one of the lecturers in GBS. And so being given this honour actually shows that my effort is being recognised and I appreciate it greatly. Thank you. Good. Now tell us, um, what do you currently teach at GBS and what is your teaching philosophy? Well, I joined GBS as a business uh, management lecturer and I have since been teaching that. My philosophy as a lecturer uh, is basically to aspire to create an environment in the classroom that is very inclusive, supportive, and to allow every student to have the opportunity to explore, to build and get the support they need so that they could be useful and uh, supportive to themselves, to their communities, and to the society in which they are part of which is all inclusive learning. Thank you so much. Having teaching excellence in mind, give us an example of how you connect with your learners, most especially the reluctant ones in your classroom. Well, uh, the first thing I do is to build a relationship with my students. Um, I often call my students even at a time that they don't expect, just to make sure that they're feeling okay or if they have issues which could be addressed uh, separately. Uh, having said that, I also make sure that uh, I build a team together, mm -hmm. provide the opportunity for students to understand that we can put all the distractions aside and then bring them back to the classroom so that learning can take place. So I make students understand that the environment in the classroom is a frank, environment for each one of us and together we build that kind of focus which is the ultimate goal of learning and support in the classroom. Which is just building that trust, that trust within the class. Thank you so much. I could remember um, when I visited your classroom as well, you had 24 students out of 24 in the register. So tell us um, or tell the viewers, um, what is your formula for students' retention success? I have always indicated to my students that uh, I did not just turn up to become a GBS lecturer. I also had a history. And as a person coming from Ghana and from Africa, uh, through Philippines and to England, I mean, I also have a journey which is the same as the journey of our students. So students relate to that and they understand that they can also do what I have done and better. So I make students understand that uh, it is important they take learning and support seriously to come to school and to take the opportunity to work towards their goal. Uh, students understand that if they do not come to class, they rather disappoint me rather than themselves. And that kind of support and encouragement, I believe, is working. And that shows the attendance that we have. Which is very great. So how do you assess your students' progress? And why do you think that is essential to you or lecturers here at GBS? Well, um, in GBS, we have formal way of assessing our students, which we all uh, agree and use to assess our students. But personally, I assess my students for myself because I believe that uh, whatever I give, the support I give to my students uh, is to encourage my students to explore and to give back to what I have given them. And so the idea of my assessment is to take their criticisms and their support, their feedback into my own reflection process as a lecturer. And so I believe that student assessment is an assessment of me and how I contribute to their journey of learning. And so partly in class, I make sure that I always reflect on my own output and what I've given to students. So whatever students give me, I believe is an assessment of my academic work with them. 
which is great, which is great. So how do you know your students are doing very well in the classroom? Well, um, I have interactions with my students before and after lectures. So I get to hear their feedback. I get to take their criticism. I tell them I don't hear anything good because the good is already good. I want to hear the things which are not good so that we can work on together from my side and then from their side. And with that, we are able to build a platform where we can all work together and to improve together. So you connect and build that great relationship with your students, which is very great. So that brings me to my final question of today. What does teaching mean to you? And what is your goal each time you are in that classroom with your students? Well, I go to my classrooms with uh, a high level of passion because as a trained teacher, I know that uh, there are students who are expecting something from me. They rely on me to develop and to learn and to able to apply that in their own lives and in their various engagements. And so I go to the class knowing that I have to work with my students to move from one stage to the other. And so the passion we create comes from our own enthusiasm together as a team. And I want to make sure that the students actually take something out of the class any any time they are there. And that for me is quite important because if students are not appreciating the lectures and the support, they may not come at all. And so I use their attendance, their own feedback as an assessment of my own contribution to their journey as a student. And I use that to reflect and to support them all the way. Thank you so much, Frank Ketu, for being here today. I really appreciate and thank you for being our star lecturer for the month. It's amazing to have you here today. Thank you. And thank you very much for the honour done me and thank you for having me today. Thank you. <laughs>